Today we're gonna to talk about something really interesting and I know that you can relate. How many of your kids are distracted and lack focus? Oh my goodness, this seems to be like the ongoing thing. This whole distraction thing could actually be a perk. I'm Marina, your host, mother of two aspiring rock climbers and wife to extreme athlete. Okay, distraction. This is a big fucking deal today, guys. With all the social media, all the electronics, there the, it feels like kids are never here, right? Because we, including us, are constantly bombarded with everything every waking second of the day, right? But I want to take a little bit of a deeper look at distraction in a good way, okay? Not distraction so much as focus. Redirecting that distracted energy into where our real focus comes in. If you ever look at a master, at whatever, I do not care what it is, it does not have to be a sport, it could be art, it could be music, it could be whatever. There is this focus that is just unbelievable. And I remember when my kids first started school, there were certain things that the teachers would be like, wow, your kid is so focused on this, he just spent hours doing it and he didn't even realize that he spent so much time. Yet, the same token, especially for my oldest son, my youngest son still has that much, some, he can still stay focused on things that aren't his true passion. My oldest son, not at all. Like He is literally the epitome of ADHD, ADD, whatever you want to call it. We never paid any attention to that because... You know, some things that our kids are just not going to be interested in. Are you interested in everything? Are you going to sit in front of something that you dislike and give you your full attention? No. Why do we expect our kids to do that, right? <clears throat> we have always sent our kids to a very progressive alternative style school and the teachers there really understand that and get it. But even with that understanding, they still get frustrated when my oldest son was just way too distracted. And I'm not even talking on the phone, just in general. However, and this is something like I noticed when he goes climbing, he is completely in the zone for hours, hours. And if you think about it, can you guys even understand climbing and being distracted while climbing? I mean, it's death, right? So his focus is unbelievable. It is absolutely incredible and that just goes to show obviously this is an extreme because he does need to be able to focus on things that he does not love <clears throat> you know he does need to get a little bit more in the moment with other things but this just really made me think about the distractions yes we get all these stupid distractions and he does get distracted all the time with his phone but when it comes to climbing he is all there and that to me just shows that that's what we were made for, right? That's where the magic happens is when we do what we love because then we are in ultra focus mode. This is what we are loving, right? Unfortunately, it takes a lot of work to get to be able to do what we love and live well off of it, whatever your well means because it could be living in a van, you know, having enough food and gas to get around to wherever you want to go. That's a complete relative thing, right? But it is the more important thing, right? We as an adult, we also get distracted, right? So it's unbelievable to me how that is overlooked and that is not respected. The alertness, the focus that my sons have for what they love. And that needs to be really taken into account. And maybe with your own kid, because I can guarantee that you're probably getting frustrated with their own distraction. So look at it from a different perspective. Look at what they're focusing on, because that's where the magic is, right? And that's where we want to keep that magic flowing. I want to know what is it that your kid is really focused into? What makes them completely get lost in the moment and be for hours without realizing that they've just spent hours focusing on that thing. I would love to know what that is. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave me a review, share it with your friends. And remember, it takes a strategic village and that's what this community is all about.